All right, geezers, Jules here from FGS. And you know what? Your life will hopefully be a long one, but you know what will always be longer? The list of incredible video games that are out there that you still haven't played. Impossible though it might seem to boil down the list of games you must play before you pop your clogs down to just 10, well, we've tried it anyway, and are focused on the most seminal, groundbreaking, and genre-defining video games. And say it with me, kids, of all time. Yet we haven't done this alone, because as is custom for these lists, we've chosen one of your suggestions from the previous video, and that comment comes from Michael Jensen, whose pick you will see later on. And if you want to be part of next week's video, then have a think on what you think is the best video game weapon. Now, I'll end this intro before you start unsheathing your blades and say that I'm Jules, this is FGS, and these are 10 video games that everyone must play before they die. Number 10. Portal. The modern puzzle platformer would look incredibly different without the influence of Portal, which combines thigh-slapping dark humour with ingenious physics-based puzzles to deliver one of the most singular gaming experiences ever. Even if you're not a fan of the genre, Portal is a testament to how skilled developers can take a seemingly familiar escape room-like premise and infuse it with so much personality and atmosphere. Within moments of first picking up the Portal gun, it earned itself a carved-out place in the Video Game Weapon Hall of Fame which again is going to be our next week's video, so maybe it'll crop up again. And though Portal 2 arguably exceeds it in many respects, it's the original which is a truly historic gaming monument, the ultimate example of the puzzle platformer's rich potential. Plus, with the game being less than three hours long, it's perfect to play when you need a breather between AAA time sinks. Number 9 any Soulsborne game. From Software's Soulsborne titles rank among the most revered and passionately championed games of the current era, so you'd be doing yourself a colossal disservice to keep sleeping on them. Now, which one you play actually doesn't really matter, as long as it's not Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I kid, but kind of not. Because between Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring, you are absolutely spoiled for choice. Now, even though Soulsborne games are notorious for their levels of difficulty, they are also keen to reward players who don't bounce off them at the first a sign of trouble. Perseverance and learning from your mistakes are key, and while these games have a near-mythic reputation as some of the toughest games around, you shouldn't let that deter you from at least trying one. There's just so much to love here, from eye-watering art direction and character design to tripwire tense combat and intoxicatingly enigmatic world building. Nobody's saying that you're not a real gamer without mastering a Soulsborne, but even those intimidated by the skill ceiling owe it to themselves to dip a toe in and see what it's all about. Number 8. Shadow of the Colossus Besides simply being one of the most mesmerizing action-adventure games ever, Shadow of the Colossus is often the go-to example to shout down those pesky ignoremi who claim that video games aren't art. In the battle for establishing games as a medium as meaningful as movies, books, and music, Team Ico's jaw-dropping boss rush game remains its best-yet argument. Almost 20 years on from the original experience, exploring Shadow of the Colossus's beautiful, eerie world and battling its assemblage of terrifying yet majestic colossi, ranks among gaming's most goosebump-raising experiences. It's as close to a religious experience as you are ever likely to get from a video game, hyperbole be damned. It's proof perfect of how games can at once deliver scintillating action and emotional nourishment. This is a towering behemoth of its own design, and one that arguably is made even better with the slick 2018 remake. Number 7. Mass Effect Legendary Edition If you took the best sci-fi TV nope. show ever and made it an interactive galaxy-sprawling odyssey, you would end up with Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now, we're admittedly cheating a bit here, given that the original Mass Effect saga is of course a trilogy, but it's simply impossible to recommend playing just one of these things. At their best, these games are the zenith of Bioware's work as writers and designers, dropping players into arguably the single richest and most immersive game world ever while populating it with a bevy of weird and wonderful characters. Better yet, your choices meaningfully carry over from one game to the next, having an impact on how you experience the story, even if Bioware unfortunately fumbled the bag at the trilogy's conclusion. All the same, ignore that exasperating discourse around Mass Effect 3's ending and just accept that the journey is so much more important than the destination. Those who fully give themselves over to Bioware's meticulously crafted space opera universe will enjoy rewards manifold. 
Number 6. Burnout 3 Takedown Now, racing games aren't for everyone, but even the most genre-averse of players owe it to themselves to at least give Burnout 3 Takedown a whirl. Burnout the Third, as it's also known in my household, arrived at a time when Gran Turismo was the crowned king of the genre, and offered a rubber-screeching, face-melting alternative for anyone who found the iconic racing simulator a bit, well, boring. The threequel's big hook here was the introduction of the titular takedowns to its already compulsively addictive arcade racing suite. By encouraging players to get aggressive and run rivals off the road by any means necessary, Takedown felt like a perfect antidote to those who just couldn't vibe with Gran Turismo's penchant for sportsmanship and all that bloody nonsense. Twenty years on, it remains arguably the palm-sweating, anxiety-riddled peak of the entire genre, touting stunning vehicular destruction and a banger soundtrack, which also serves as a nostalgic early 2000s time capsule. It's still a blast to play on the PS2, but this thing is also way overdue a remaster. Come on now. And to interrupt myself here and speak of things you should do before you unfortunately meet your maker, why not subscribe to the FGS YouTube channel? Not only will you get to stay up to date with all of the deep cut laden lists that I put out every single Friday, but you'll support my colleagues as well with their endeavors. And trust me, we are putting in the hours, putting out gaming content every single goddamn day. So click the subscribe button, become part of the family, and let's have a good time together, shall we? Before we all go marching into the grave. Whoa, too dark. Let's pivot, pivot, pivot. To number 5, Super Mario Galaxy. Now, this list simply couldn't exist without including a Mario game, and while most of the mainline titles are solid gold classics, if you have to play just one, it should probably be Super Mario Galaxy. Now, per its title, Galaxy takes Mario to outer space, giving the player unprecedented freedom to explore dozens of galaxies while racing to rescue Princess Peach from Bowser. Even for Mario's standards, the level design is on a whole other level of creativity here, constantly one-upping itself while pushing the Wii's hard to near snapping point. Couple this with some of the series' most sprightly visuals and a gorgeous musical score, and Galaxy basically feels like the epitome of everything the series has built towards since its inception. And thankfully, you don't need to dust off or borrow a Wii to play it, as it was ported to the Switch in 2020 as part of the Super Mario 3D All-Stars compendium. Number 4. Pong and so we come to Michael Jensen's pick for this list, and while at first the suggestion of Pong certainly raised my eyebrows to dangerous levels, upon reading their rationale, it was actually really hard to argue with. Now, Michael states that there are two reasons for the Pong paddle pick, and that's because it was seen as truly revolutionary at the time, and the second reason is to appreciate just how far we've come since its inception. Sure, we may have games that let you see the individual blood cells spilling from stomach-churning headshots, and live in an age where you could describe Voldo's piece as aggressively real, but we really have this minimalistic table tennis game to thank for the trail it blazed. Arguably, Pong is the perfect game, as it achieves exactly what it sets out to do in the most minimalistic way possible. With no extra fat, it is a surgical slice of gaming that we really do need to take the time out in order to appreciate, because seriously, it's the GOAT. Number 3. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Much like Mario, Grand Theft Auto is one of the most important video game franchises ever, and save for the most violence-averse of gamers, it's something that everyone should try at least once. But picking a Banner GTA game is rather tricky, but the right answer probably is San Andreas. Its soundtrack may lack the iconic verve of Vice Cities, but its almost impossibly detailed open world was a landmark achievement in game design for the period. Immersive arguably to a fault in places, San Andreas nevertheless feels like Rockstar reaching the summit of the mountain, growing from the simplicity of the original top-down GTA into a deeply immersive experience which transcended even the loftiest expectations. While it's easy to take open-world games for granted these days, without the tectonic strides made by San Andreas almost 20 years ago, we wouldn't have the rich, all-encompassing game worlds that we do today. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time It's even trickier than Mario or GTA to pick a single Zelda game to spotlight, but in the words of the immortal Highlander, there can only be one. And while Breath of the Wild definitely took the beloved fantasy adventure franchise to unimaginable heights, given its recency, there's a solid chance that you've already played it. So let's look back to the title which truly made Zelda mainstream, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Even someone coming from gaming totally fresh without nostalgia goggles today will surely be left shook by its breathtaking world, its timeless storytelling, its incredible soundtrack, and its outstanding combat. As the first 3D Zelda game, there was a lot right 
sliding on Ocarina of Time's release. But beyond merely charting the series' most successful path for years afterwards, it also cemented the gameplay fundamentals for hundreds of subsequent action-adventure games. No Ocarina of Time? Well, probably no lock-on targeting for a while. Its achievements have arguably been surpassed by the two most recent Zelda games, but Ocarina of Time planted the flag for not just the franchise, but the adventure game genre as a whole. And thus, it definitely deserves a place on this list. And number one, Final Fantasy VII. And finally, though Square Enix's Final Fantasy VII Remake project is now two-thirds complete, you need to play the 1997 original for yourself to fully appreciate its impact on gaming as a whole. Final Fantasy VII near single-handedly popularized Japanese RPGs in the West, acquainting unassuming players with deep-dish turn-based combat, an endlessly complex and, yes, sometimes convoluted story, and a cast of unforgettable characters. Though the gorgeous combat-fluid remakes are obviously far more accessible to players today, the original game has aged far better than most of its late 90s contemporaries. And so you're robbing yourself of perhaps THE seminal gaming experience if you don't at least try it for a few hours. For millions of gamers, playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time was a true watershed moment, an indicator of just how expressive and artful games could be, while laying the track for a bright future ahead. As long as you ignore Final Fantasy XIII. I don't care what you say, that game sucks. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 games that everyone must play before they die. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down below, and also put your suggestion for what you think is the best video game weapon, and I may choose you for next week's video. Ooh, what a treat. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Hope you're treating yourself well, my friend, with love and respect, because you deserve the bloody best, and do not let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise. You are a massive legend. I want you to go out there and smash it today. I believe in you. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.